this top piece that's moving around, I've got to uh, clamp it down before it uh, starts compressing. If I lift it up, it stops compressing completely. If I push it down, you get compression. Okay, let's try the Scroll Technologies compressor. Sounds a bit healthier, because the top's not moving around. <laughs> Can't see as much. Hmm, that's one way to rust proof your shed. <laughs> that's all oil vapor. That's not smoke, that's just oil. Yeah. You can see the leak reactant still in the system. This came out of a very leaky carrier air conditioner. Same with its partner. Both units were condemned and under warranty. Because they're just shit units made in Korea by Daewoo. Terrible units. But the compressor still works. Well, for now. Wow, that's an impressive amount of oil. It's not smoke though. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be breathing this. Oh, that'll do for now on that one. That's nasty. <laughs> yeah, it's just hanging around. That's alright, the heat pump's on. It'll catch it. <laughs> Poor old filters. They're gonna end up looking, looking like a bloody uh, kitchen filter covered in bloody grease. Hmm. Well, let's do that again. And the difference between these two, and this one's still running sort of, um, this one here, this one here has a fixed headspace, I suppose you'll call it a seal. This one here has a moving seal, which fits down in there and has a little pressure chamber or pressure inlet through there. So it acts like an unloader. When the compressor starts off, there's no pressure in here. This top part can actually float up a bit and allow the scroll to come up to speed gradually, or come up to speed and gradually increase pressure and push down on, or sorry, push up on that, pushing down on that, pushing the uh, fixed scroll down harder and harder. That's why these compressors run it wear in, not wear out. It's quite an interesting little design. So you've got pressure underneath this seal, pushing up on the lid, and it's pushing this part down. So when it's at zero pressure starting out, it can rev up, build up pressure, push this up, push this down and go into full load mode rather than trying to start at full load. So it's got two functions. One, it's so that the compressor doesn't wear out, it wears in. And two, it allows it to start a little bit easier, softer, less current draw. This one here doesn't have any of that. It's compressing right now. Like it's, it's trying to put out full pressure even at a couple of RPM. So, two different designs, they're both very good compressors, but I think the Copeland is a bit better, myself. I've always liked Copeland compressors, uh, as far as scrolls are concerned. Um, reciprocating compressors, it's always Danfoss. 
I'm not sponsored by Danfoss, so I just prefer their reciprocating compressors and domestic commercial stuff. But these, they're a good compressor. Scroll Technologies makes a good compressor, but yeah, Copeland seem to be the biggest name in the industry. They have a digital modulated scroll that moves this up and down through an electrical signal. There's a few different, few different scroll models coming out. Electronically controlled variable speed scrolls. Yeah, that thing's a mess. <laughs> oh, thanks for watching.